so 1.8 Point nine. This is probably around the version. I just got a cave noise. That was scary. This is around probably the version I was playing when I first picked up this game. Probably around, I don't know, whatever version was 2011, 2012. What, when did this uh, version come out? That would, uh, this, this came out in like 2014 or 15, I think. So this is a hub world. And the, uh, the funny thing is nobody comes for the survival anarchy server. They all come to play, uh, Tower defense, the tower defense. They uh, all game come to they play have. tower defense. Yeah, yeah. That's what people remember the server for, which is funny. Whoa, where even are we? This is new to me. There, your island. This is Skyblock. Don't go in there. <laughs> we don't need to. Old need to school Skyblock. Skyblock. This is totally not. This is not finished at all. I think. They're still adding stuff to this server. Uh, no, no, no. This is very inactive. It's very dead. How is it still up if it's so inactive? Uh, because the, the guy who runs it just keeps it up. He doesn't, like, interact with the community very often. He just runs it. It's kind of like a community-run thing, and I guess... I don't actually know the exact reason why they haven't shut it down, because nobody plays it. But I guess it's just, like, because you've been running it for so long, and it's not does not hard to do it. All of the co plugins on here are, like, custom-coded, though. So, they, they don't I use, could like... kind of tell. Is someone still running this just, like, in their basement yeah. or something now? Uh, uh, probably not in their basement, but they, they, yeah, kind of. Like, you know, once you're hosting, like, uh, your own server, then it's, like, the only thing you have to pay for is, like, electricity. Welcome to Legion of Anarchy. Begin here. They yeah. got TPA. They do. They got TPA and home setting, but their home sets are only for people who, uh, paid money. But, no, you can't even donate to the server anymore, so people who have that role still have it. But, um, you can't even, you can't get access to it anymore. You can't get so. it. People that got no, it you still can't even have it. pay money to get it. Yeah, yeah. It's like really archaic. There used to be death signs. So when you die, you'd see a death sign and uh, you get a death sign. Here, I I've got a... I'm going to give you some baked potato. Since we're on this version, sprint is broken. So do not... Do, just don't sprint if you can help it. Okay. Why? What happens if I sprint? You're just gonna lose all of your hunger like immediately. Actually, I'll give you oh, some. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, like food in this version is like a killer, like 100%. And there are so many mobs because there's no one who plays this server. Oh, wait, I have a sword. I'll give you a sword. Here you go. Take the sword. It's diamond. Okay, look at these mobs though. Do you see this? Like, you're, you're going like ham right there, but do you see the, the giant like swarm? Oh, baby zombie. It's Jover. <laughs> Fighting the horde right now. Look, there's an iron one, dude. It just never lets up. Um, it might be better to set it to a day somehow. It's just like, it's really. If we crazy. both slept, we could. Yeah, yeah. Or one, all we need is one bed, but I don't have a bed anymore. <laughs> so the the this spawn, uh, okay, this spawn resets. Um, this particular like past this blue line, it doesn't re it, it resets like less frequently, and then you go certain far out, and then it's like no protection at all, uh, like no resets of the map. Um, and, and well, once we hit it, it'll be really obvious because everything gets completely destroyed. Look up, look, look up into the sky here. Look at this. We got a settlement. We do. This is just the world. As soon as it stops resetting, this is what it looks like right here. So this is it right here. There was a jungle here. It doesn't even look like a jungle. Was. I know, right? Like, it, it, this is the chaos. Like, I've never seen a server that's this destroyed, like an anarchy server properly, that, I that isn't, you know, heavily played on. And, you know, like, the history is all here, too, because, like, this has been untouched since, like, 2016. And this was, like, you know, back in the day, 100 players online. So it's not like it was a dead server when it was like in his popularity you know or like you know when it was popping well it was popping really hard for a while and there's like a lot of lore i've even uh helped set up a well I, i've gotten the the ball rolling for like an archive group on here that uh interviews like the old players and like documents the bases and all the stuff on here so th there's like archival efforts that are happening right now because at some point you know it's all going to be gone this is like one of those servers where it might just go down one day the server might go down, but not only that, it's like every base on here could be destroyed by the players and, you know, be gone the next day after, you know, 
Like that's happened where uh, that when it, when we first started it, one of the guys posted a uh, link to the coordinates of a base, and the next day it was completely lava casted and destroyed. So it's like people still mess stuff up. Yeah, on a dead server, they still but... come on here. Yeah, yeah, the, the like OG player base will do that too. Although I think these guys were from another server. And, and yeah, so like you've got this like giant, giant, just like random stuff. And it's like the thing is, it doesn't end. You know, you just keep, no matter what direction you go in, there's just more builds and more like broken stuff. Now here's a good look at one. Here's this look. Alien 116 RIP 2012 uh, hates gravity 2012. So these death signs automatically spawn uh, due to a plugin, used to. Um, and up spider. until 2015. So the spider killed this guy in 2012. So you're looking at like the corpses, basically, the tombstones of several dead people. Six, June, June, a lot from June. Mm -hmm. June was when 2012, June 2012 was like the peak of the, that was like the peak of the game i thought in june of 2012 2011 2012 well because like june you know like that's like some spring break summer break whatever uh, break school break <laughs> and then yeah yeah 2012 was like r around the peak of minecraft and then there's 11 like something was on this time but it got wiped. someone actually yeah it's funny how uh, these signs are wiped but these aren't hero brian dude holy crap this is a scary sign wait Look at this what the f all the signs we've been looking at that are placed <laughs> by people are all like blank. They've all been corrupted, but the Hero Brian sign. Except that one, yeah. That's the one sign. that says That's Hero Brian isn't blank. Did you believe in Hero Brian? I did for a little bit. I I thought he visited my world because I I, I played uh like a super flat world one time for a while, and then uh I like joined it, and then um uh, one day it was just reset. <laughs> <laughs> you thought hero brian got you and i was like well uh, like what happened half of my like world file is gone so i assumed that like i had on that particular world i'd been visited by hero brian but I, I think it was more more like old versions of minecraft and like pc ram not saving or something i don't know <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen. Before I continue with today's presentation, I'd like to give a shout out to today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Zman1064.com. Guys, when I make these YouTube videos, there's a good chance that I'm going to be using copyrighted music. The reason I do this is because I think it gives the video a better atmosphere than any non-copyrighted music could ever do. The problem with that is that I don't make any money from any of the large videos that I make that use copyrighted music. Yes, you heard me right. This video with 2.1 million views that's almost 30 minutes long made me zero dollars but this is okay because i've got you guys if you guys want to support this channel head on over to zman1064.com that's z-m-a-n-1064.com and go and buy one of the merch items we've got a hat we've got a hoodie we've got a t-shirt and of course, we've got the classic Elver pillow. If you guys like my content, please consider buying one of the merch items. It helps me out a lot and you get something in return. In my opinion, it's better than becoming a channel member. Not gonna lie, but becoming a channel member is cool too. So you guys should do that as well. And with that being said, thank you for watching this ad. If you watched it all the way through and let's get back to the video where we go on some old Minecraft servers. By the way, let me know if you guys like this new style of content. I'm trying to experiment and do new things. This is such a hard server. Like to, to play on it with no materials from spawn. You will, I've starved to death so many times here. It's actually crazy. We're gonna check out some old base that's still intact. And then we're gonna go visit uh, a new base that Siege has set up. Oh, we got donor roll. I, I'm guessing Siege was able to finally uh, get access to, to all the home sets and stuff uh, from the owner. This is Look probably at this. new. Look at this. It's a I, mushroom I, dome. I wonder if this is a new spawn base that Siege has been working on or not. I don't know. This looks... What the heck? Yeah. This doesn't... This looks old. Imagine pulling this off in like 2012. This is not new. These are new signs. Oh, these, from oh these this is... People. These are people saying, hey, this yeah. is cool. So this is like an old base. So that means that somebody was able to bring this mushroom stuff at near spawn in 2012, dude, and set this up. Like this, this would have been annoying. Have you, you you remember old boats? They're like the worst mm -hmm. thing in the world. Bro's breaking it. No, no they're gonna fine. get out. No, actually, you're right. Okay, hold it. Sorry, I I, I just. No oh, yeah, vandalism. Yeah. Put it back. That's gone. How am I supposed to get back up here? Oh, There's wait, a up. button or something. I saw a piston. I know, but I, I didn't I didn't want to press it. I felt this like that goofy. would be worse somehow. Oh yeah, this is totally old. Look at there's a huge yeah, hole on the side. There's of a it. crater. 
Oh, okay. Do slash AFK. I didn't know that. What happens if you do slash AFK? It becomes daytime. Slash AFK. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That's new. I, I didn't know about that. That, that makes it a lot easier. Because, like, if you're playing this, like, for the first time, there's, like, a thousand zombies. If you sprint for even one second, you immediately starve to death, and there's, like, no food for a thousand blocks. Hey, look oh at this. Oh, my gosh. There's still stuff in these... here, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is still... I, we can't touch any of this. This is all... This is historical. There's still chickens. There's actually still chickens in here. Okay, this is just a really cool that this exists. This is old school. This makes me want to play old school Minecraft. I know, I know. It's a, This was so fun. Like, I, I got leveled up on my other account um, on here. It was really fun to just try and, like, eke out a living. Because every night would pass and it would be, like, horrible. So this is a new spawn base now that Siege so been working on. So this is not old this was built recently when was this built last year this year something like that like this is the new new project i think yeah there's still some life on the abandoned server yeah we got one guy okay left. so 2022 is when it started this has been it's it has been about two years then 22. oh i remember this okay yeah i was here on stream this look at this you should leave your sign here here's a sign here place your sign down there we go yo Let's go. Three, three, twenty-four. We have left our mark on the server. It's official. Doubled castle walls, twenty twenty-two. This was an old base, I think, that got expanded. Oh, so this was an abandoned base? Yeah, an abandoned base. I think from twenty twenty though. Like somebody who wasn't him started this, uh, and then he found it, and then just expanded it. And it's like the community area now. We will uh, we will tour the Nixion base uh, for a little bit. That one was pretty dope. Uh, that one's great. And then in the end, uh, the mention there's like a uh, there's just like people would like place blocks out into the void because there's no end end island or anything. So then uh, uh, they would remove. They, they didn't have elytras either, and flying machines don't work on the server. So uh -huh. they would just place blocks out at like a couple thousand blocks and destroy the pathway behind them. They'd have to pillar out manually. Yeah, yeah, they did, and with like half slabs or something. And then once they decide they were far enough out, they would you know get rid of the the, the walking trail and then build themselves like a, a like a place to just shelter all your your valuables. And we're gonna visit one of those. Is it abandoned? Well, I mean, it's sort of abandoned. It's like in operational condition and everything. Just the the original player has so been going in a while. So it's an OG loot base like stash, stash from. Yeah. Is it old? Oh yeah, yeah. It's from like the 2012 to 14. You know, like that was when it was being used. And it it's I guess it's technically still like active because uh it's like the guy who has a TP to it was invited there years ago. Oh, so it's partially active still. Yeah, partially active. Whenever the guy comes on, he puts all of his loot. It has like god apples and everything. Like it's crazy. It's, it's got all the loot. It, it's lit it's like stacked. Uh, and um was it so they had this like loot box system in the Nether, right? Where you, you're just mining in the Nether, you'll get loot boxes or something. The, that was another of the pay to win like archaic pay to win system where you would have to buy crate keys and you to unlock them or whatever but you could get them naturally you can still get them now but the crate keys you can't buy them anymore uh, so it's a, there's like a limited number of them that exist on the server that you can limited number of on. of crate keys mm -hmm. and then once you get a crate key like you can open up and look, look at this uh this is what i have this is what i'm wearing on my face it's a Ash I was trend. wondering so what that was. It's a wearable item. Oh, yeah. This is dope because these are, like, collectible. Yeah, it's, so it's an aesthetic, like, item that you can get. So I think technically this is up to TOS. Like, uh, you're you not even an advantage. Although it did come with other items. I believe you could get spawn eggs as well. Honestly, back then, pay to win wasn't as bad as it is now. Uh, I don't know. It depends. It depends. I mean, uh, from I mean, what, what you described, like, spawn eggs, that's not horrible. Chicken spawn egg. Chickens are everywhere, but that's just convenient because you can put it in a pan. Yeah. Uh, this is just a random base. Oh, oh, oh. oh bro! Oh, no. son of a bitch. Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> oh, it's fine. Just TP back. <laughs> that was insane, bro. Dude, is that the first death in like a few years? <laughs> the first death in two. I don't think so, but it's pretty close. I did not even look at that Enderman. I didn't even look in its eyes, I swear. They're they're vicious. Animals on this, like, creatures and mobs on this, like, thing. Oh, literally, here, here's one. This is a... Here, hold this. 
That's a that's a grab chest. That's what uh the loot loot boxes look like. It's in your inventory. You oh, can place it on thing? the ground and yeah. You need like a key item to open it to. Unless you, can't you have a key, ground. you can't. Here, take this. I don't want oh, you to okay. lose it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a rabbit. There were rabbits back then. <laughs> I know they've been around for a while. I, they're they've been equally pointless this entire time too. That was like the trend of Mojang adding mobs that do nothing to the game. It was this aesthetics. No, we Creeper? can get there. Oh man. Easy. Oh, I hear oh, barricade, bombs, barricade. Okay, there's signs in here. This is lore. Okay, okay, okay. Stelos the second, four twelve twenty twenty. Dude, this is like right when the pandemic happened. Dude, there's history even a few years ago. So this guy came back because of the pandemic, I assume. Because this is like a month after it started. We got this one, twenty twenty one. Got this oh, that guy. Makes sense. He's traveling. 7 11, 2021. We should put a sign here. I'll, I'll drop one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. We have added to the signs literally four years of sign placement. Saplo says balls. <laughs> Underwater base, bro. Bruh. I've literally walked past and I've never, never seen this. What is this? Here? Yo. 2012, death. 2012 see and then look 2023 over 10 years later dude this guy's dope this guy's just on the server that's like over 10 years old he just marks his turf yeah he's he's exploring he's been doing the number one amount of like expansion of knowledge on here i put him in charge of the archival project so he's been documenting all sorts of stuff i think he's getting world on once shout out now. cj bro Mm -hmm. Epic, ruins. Epic ruins. These are some ruins right mm -hmm. here. Also, it's not CJ, it's Siege. 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 I read yeah. CJ. Shout out Siege, bro. Everybody reads it CJ and he hates it. So this is dope. This was a mob farm or like a mob spawner room, obviously like a dungeon. Mm -hmm. And they made this like a room. And then they I, added yeah. a door. And then it's like this base. Up. And then there was another one. There was another dungeon down here. Yeah. This looks like a, um, an end fortress. Doesn't it kind of give that vibe? Oh, a little bit, yeah. Just the stone. It's more like, a, actually, it kind of gives more of like a 2012 base kind of vibe. But no, actually, th these stairs are a little bit like a... That's kind of what I meant. Just fortress. like the... It's so liminal. Oh, look at this. There's a active... Some sort some of redstone. Red I wonder what's activating it. Yeah, it's like glowing. What the fuck? Where's this coming What's from? What's this? Let's see. Oh, whoa, shit. Look at this. I just busted in. I just busted oh, in. Oh, secret room. Whoa, I turned it off. Dude, that shit was on for fucking like 12 years and you just turned it yeah, off. I just turned it off. I turned it back on though. It finally got a break. It got a break for one second. One second break. There you go. Now it's like nothing happened. Oh, this is a lot of signs too. I like how there's just like these accumulations of signs. You just read these signs or whatever, and I'm gonna TP to dust, and then it's just whatever is. How do I pronounce his name? Siege. Siege yeah. was here 126. <laughs> this guy died in 2012. Someone died here in 2012. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the still. It's still active, so don't take anything from this. Uh, but this is. This guy named Seto. Oh, set this, this is up. the the end. Base. This is the end uh, treasury, and it's got a bunch of goodies. You can open the chest. I think there might be some cool stuff in here. I think they. Uh, okay, he took most of the stuff, and uh, but if you open this chest right here, there's like an enchanted golden apple in here. Um, there's there's lots of like TNT diamonds. This is um, someone's legit. Oh, I love that fucking apple texture. It's so good. Cool. Yeah, but yeah, this is technically still active. I think the the true valuables have been like removed. But um, oh, if you look, come out here. This is them testing out a fly flying uh machine outside here. Try, I right thought here. one. I, I think, thought one didn't work. I thought they didn't. Work. They, they, well, that's how they found out it didn't work. <laughs> there were slime blocks back then. Yeah, the slime blocks have been around since uh pretty. Pretty oh, no way, maybe not slime blocks. Sticky pistons been or have been around since like beta Minecraft, which I was I was I didn't know. I didn't realize that they were around that long. This is crazy, bro. Under construction. <laughs> <laughs> Classic enchantment room.
got all these end rods in here. This is all like this is all the loot. And there's a beacon. Yeah, and a beacon. This is like this is kitted out. This is like truly like a like you know the stash. Name tags. I weren't name tags hard to get back then. Uh, maybe. Yeah. There's a stack in sure. seven. I don't know if they were hard to get. I thought you could only get them from fishing. There's some trees. They tried to make a flying machine and it didn't work. You know what I noticed? This is kind of funny. Look at how it's built. You see how this is built? It's like proto how they build things today with the stairs and all that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Back then it was just blocks and then, yeah, you can tell they really went wild with the how you can make a stair go upside down. <laughs> they, they were infatuated with this. this They're like, crazy. holy this shit looks so... I remember when they added that. You can kind of tell, yeah, the building trends literally entirely revolve around whatever mechanic is the newest, coolest thing. Like, even new Minecraft builds are like, we got to use all of the, like, you know, you go and follow the Kaki, chains. look at a new build, and it's like, let's use the chains, let's use logs. The, the, the strip logs, the weird looking, like, nether trees, you know, like, let's make a blue house, all that stuff. Oh, we got oh, a sign, to-do list. Board. Finish library book show. I remember we had a list. I was playing on PlayStation 3, and I think, I swear we made like a to-do list type thing. That's like something <laughs> we used to do. This is dope, though. This is some old school shit. Look, there's another beacon. The stash. And I like how they built it. It's just an island out in the void. Just. All right. Oh. We're in the nether now. Why is there so many mushrooms, bro? Do you see all the mushrooms? Uh, that's what happens when you let, like, like a place gets uh, in the nether, if you're just, like, in the nether a lot, all of the uh, mushrooms start to multiply a lot because they have the right light level. And oh. So. so this is a nether base? Mm-hmm. Old nether. What the fuck? Yo, look at this. This, this is, is the one made by uh, Nixion, the, like... He has like a, over a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube. I think maybe he has four hundred thousand. He's like a World of Warcraft YouTuber. He still makes stuff. So this is some yeah. old YouTuber's base before he was yeah. big on YouTube. Is he still active? Yeah, he's still active. There's a ghast right there. Wait, really? There's a ghast under the floor. Really? Sh shit! Don't don't come out here. I gotta get over there before they fucking look. At oh, oh God! Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Jeez. So this is well. What he just stopped playing the server or something? Uh, yeah. Him and all his friends did apparently. Um, but it's like a World of Warcraft themed build, which is pretty nuts. You wait till we get to the Overworld. This is just the Nether hub. That's the funniest part about this. Oh wait, we should go to the top. I, uh, we missed out something. Did you try um, contacting this dude? Uh, I haven't reached out to him on Twitter or anything, but I did add him on YouTube. I actually, you know what? I might just try adding at him a twi on Twitter. Just to you see can ask me. I could probably get. Yeah, one. if you want to reach out for him on behalf of me, I'll send you the YouTube video I recorded so he can like view it. Yo, Blaze Spawner, let's go. Oh, this is like a Blaze. They're like hit it out, dude. So this was a fortress then around here. Look at it. Yeah, look here's the Blaze rods in this chest, and they use Blaze rods for everything in this base. This is where I learned the Blaze rod thing. Okay, so reopen. Oh wow, look at that. Damn. And then. Oh! Whoa! My hole. That's so cool. It just damages them. Reopen. Damage. Insta death. That's so cool. <laughs> it's crazy that this still works. Yeah, no, it, 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 yeah, the, and the redstone's not fucked up at all, so. Oh, so it makes it where you can one-tap them. It's like on a clock, so it's actually on a clock. Very big for the time, yeah. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go with the overworld. This is, this is a wild thing right over here. Oh, fuck me. Oh, what happened? I hear piglins. I hit, the, I hit the pigman. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna die. Bail out, or I'll block them. Body block. They're not mad at me. Body block. I, I, uh, body block. No! No, I'm gonna die! Body block. Quick, body block them. Oh shit, you're fucked. Okay. Alright, there you go, you're good. What the- no. Oh, what? They're after me now! I'm out. Oh, I'm that getting sucks, out of here. Alright, I just got out. 
I made it Man, out. Man, I was so close, dude. I literally, they hit me through the wall. This is cool. So the nether portal, it looks like the nether's leaking out of it. And that's like something they do nowadays. And this piglin is after me. And I just fell off a of fletch and died. I just fell off a of fletch and died. <laughs> When you anger the piglins, they all get mad. Also, all of your shit's over here. I just stole your shit, bro. Dude, you made the piglins all upset, bro. Ah! Ah! Bro! I'm trying to save you. We're just gonna have to fight the horde. Oh, holy crap. Do you have another sword? No, I lost mine. Oh, yeah. It's like every pigman. They're not even piglins in this version. They're piglins. Okay, so this is dope. This is the entrance into their nether, and we've got... What yeah. is this sign? So this is like the magnum opus base on here, in my opinion. It's all like World of Warcraft quotes and stuff. All right, uh, so let's let's walk. Um, I think this way is a better way to walk. We'll go this okay. way. Okay. This is like a World of Warcraft quote or something. Yeah, and then this is this is an entire like it's themed on some sort of WoW update um, from back in the day. But this wow, is like what? A we need we should we should ask them what WoW update because this is probably historical for both games though. yeah yeah at this point i forget like, it was like some dlc i uh, on stream people were able to like the people who play world of warcraft know what version of the game this was based on or what what dlc expansion this is actually on. really cool it yeah is, look they were so burning well together, with blaze yeah. rods bro all the furnaces have blaze rods in them it's nuts dude that's crazy that there's still loot yeah no this is this was never found this is the first time it was found uh, it was by Siege in another random link, but this is like untouched. How long ago was this found? Like six months ago, I guess. So we, this has been Not that long for ago. six this months. Been, it's been uh, hidden the entire other time. Since 2012 or whenever it was. Mm -hmm. So this is insane. Sadly, it's going to get blown up now, unfortunately. Uh not but, but 2b2 t hackers are gonna find yeah, their way here off of one block that's actually a genuine concern the mods are like really not active so this block right here they're gonna find this base because of it that's true they, they'll they'll get the they'll get everything I had lore books yeah they have screenshots of the lore books there was a there were tons but he got blown up with the lore books no in his inventory, and they were all lost uh, as well as a bunch of other stuff but the, the screenshots are safe. They screenshotted so. them. But they mm -hmm. found lore books in this base? Yeah, yeah. This is probably one of the craziest things found on like an abandoned server. I placed these three chests when I was streaming. These are the, the locked chests, grab bags that I had opened. You were opening loot boxes in this guy's Yeah, crib. they gave me some to uh, to document opening them since uh, there's so few left. Yeah, this was an active base until they stopped playing. So the, and no one's visited it since besides me, Justin, and Siege. And now me. Yeah. Look at this. This is a good view right now. So this right here is not just a base. Well, it is a base. It's a WoW theme base. Mm -hmm. And the person that built it now has like 400K on YouTube. And he's like this yeah. dude that people know. And this was his base yeah. when he, before he was famous. Before he was yep. famous, basically. This is like, mm -hmm. this is probably one of the craziest base finds like ever. It's so specific. That's why I think it's cool. <laughs> it is. It's because it's so it's like, so specific. It's a WoW YouTuber's old Minecraft base themed off of, look, diamond blocks right here. Yeah, this is like the, the special whatever thing. At our feet got. is the greatest of treasures. For Bellum, Lord of Rock and Stone, and they put diamond and iron. Have you guys found any alpha blocks today? That would be like a petrified slabs or um, like alpha leaves, which both exist on the server. Looking good with that gold sword and those big googly eyes, bro. Let me just let me just give you a kiss. <laughs> oh, what the. F Look at this. This is like a vibey little like entrance here. Dude, this was what Minecraft was, bro. You would like make it like some cool thing because that's all you could do. Mm -hmm. There's still loot. That, it's crazy that there's still loot in all these chests. This is the proof that it's Nixion's house. 
Oh, is this what like it Nixiums, says? That's his username, Nixium, and then these are all like his friends. And then like the reason that they think it might genuinely be him is because the, his this is like his, his friends on Steam have this name or whatever the heck. So people actually did some CSI Miami investigation yeah, yeah, yeah. and found that it actually could be him. How'd you guys even know about him? I think, uh, oh, can you push me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was because I think one of them's like a fan of his. Oh, that's so cool if he was a fan and he found his fucking Minecraft base. You know, or maybe not like so, so much like fan, but just like aware of like if you like World of Warcraft, you, you know, know like, who he is. The game kind of thing. Because like, I don't know anything about World of Warcraft, so I haven't really heard of him. But so this is a mob grinder. I can immediately tell. Yeah, this is like the this is the zone for things. Look at this is such a fancy. I feel it feels so fancy with that one piece of cobblestone, mo like mossy cobblestone. Look at there's and this loot still stash. in here. Yeah. There's oh damn. Two stacks of diamonds, seven, seven diamond blocks, mm -hmm. some emeralds. Emeralds were crazy back then. Emeralds were not easy to get. Mm -hmm. Dude, the level of detail in this build is actually kind of crazy. I love the the used walls for the lights. Mm, yeah, you see that? Yeah, they, it's just a torch above it, too. It's so fancy. Well, that's what they had to do. There was no other... I mean, you can get glowstone, maybe. Oh, look, there's a goober. A little goober. Right here. He just dropped his bow. What bow is this? Power one on breaking one. One of the last servers to have alpha blocks. Oh, yeah, look at this. Break it. Yeah, they, they didn't get officially added to the game until, like, newer versions. To, like, 1.12 or something. Look at that. Look how weird it looks. This is some like crazy lore and this is some random underground thing via like a tunnel. The lore is insane. This dates when this was placed down because yeah, yeah. we have a time frame. So that's insane. A version like history, all that stuff. There's something down there. What's down there? Oh, oh, look at that nether portal. It's broken. Yeah, it's broken. That's how old it was. This would uh, mean that we were in like release versions for sure. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's, the, that's the entire base. Pretty much. This is like Quattro.net. How old is this server? Uh, 2010 uh, as well. Not not quite the oldest server. It was December 11th, 2010, and it's been running ever since. Um, and if you can you can't tell, uh, there's definitely like a lot of uh, old style buildings like around here, like these. Uh, yeah, like this. This looks old. These areas are definitely inspired by like the old stuff, but they've been like updated retroactively like let's see i shouldn't be able to break anything yeah I, I can't so i could open stuff yeah you can open but you can't you can't place so this is their way of protecting against griefers but having the server just be open but it's like never been officially advertised so it's like out of the people who don't know this there's probably maybe 10 people have joined the server in total yeah like since i made my video probably so not a lot of people have ever played this server no no and like uh, this is just really like this this guy's like little hobby hobby project world this is huge massive skyscraper so we're in the latest version of the game is this old terrain yeah this would be like beta alpha this is like a little store actual store with shelves there's a little fridge it's funny how i can tell mm -hmm. what these are is this a yep so it's cool because it's been renovated over time. Like, mm -hmm. look, the lanterns, that's like a newer thing. Mm -hmm. But you can tell some of these buildings haven't been moved. Yeah. Like this part of the section, look at this. Does this look, does anything uh, look less like alpha or beta than this? Like, really? It's so eerie because this it's... looks alpha. And then over there, it's like new. Like they mm -hmm. renovated over there, but this is still old. Yeah. Someone's definitely been playing on the same world for over like for like 13, 14 years. This pavilion, like the flowers, like it's literally the only two flowers in the game are being used right now. And they all got converted to poppies as soon as uh. I miss the old game. roses. Bring roses I like back. the roses. Why'd they take rid of them? What was wrong with the roses, man? I like the texture of them. Do you remember blue roses on pocket edition? I do, yeah. So we'll go to Atlantia, we'll check out that, and then we'll go to one other castle, uh, the Vatican City. We'll go there, um, but we have to walk a bit. I and broke then we're it. done for this server as well. I broke it. I broke the minecart. Bruh. The minecart is broken. I got... Oh, wait, I fixed it. Now it's going the other way. Atlantia Terrestrial. Terrestrial right, Atlantia. Yeah. This looks old. If we go down here, this is not so much 
super old, but it, it probably is still pretty old. Um, it's just like an interesting, like, I guess you could say proof of concept. How do we build something underwater, you know? They did it out of signs is how they did it. I don't know how they, oh yeah, it's all signs here. Oh, wow. You could dunk your head in the water if you go up here, like, look. So that's, like, interesting. Um, it doesn't, like, look the greatest, but it does feel the coolest. Right here, it looks cool. I don't know why they did signs on the, the, the walls, but the roof, like, right here where it's two blocks and it's just water, that's cool. Yeah, no, that this works a lot better than the other one, but <laughs> here it looks pretty good, too, but in a kind of more scuffed way. Well, what the f- You see it's that up there? a little interesting. What's that up there? I can oh, see it through the water. Look over there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go to that next. This seems like somebody's house here. That's pretty cool. We're in someone's crib, someone's house. This is where someone was playing. The Honorable Jack and Shrive's Pumpkin Office Bureau. And it's got some like Windows logo on the flag. Do you see this? Oh. <laughs> Abstract. Cool. Yeah. It does look like the Windows logo. <laughs> We're leaving Atlantis. We're just going to swim to... I don't know what this is called, but it doesn't have a warp to it, so we're just going to care. Oh, this is old. Look at the seabed. Oh, yeah. So this would have been at least at, at the at the the oldest, probably 2012, so... This is old world gen, but I don't think this uh, build we're looking at is very old. It looks like it's made out of diorite. That was added earlier than you think in the game. <laughs> I don't remember when that was added. That's because it wasn't noteworthy. <laughs> It wasn't worth remembering. I miss the days where I would mine and just it would just be stone. Yeah, yeah, those are the good old days. Stone, dirt, and gravel. It's all we needed. This is a... I've already been inside this before when I was touring with the Mr. Epic, but this is castles a, a lot more impressive on the outside than it is on the inside. It's kind of a labyrinth. This feels mm -hmm. like a labyrinth. Like, I don't even know how yeah. you got to where you are right now. Like, I don't know. I just, like, was playing around. Well, this is not where I want to be. Oh, you can see oh, what the, the bro. I just opened the biggest door of all time. Oh, okay, I'm gonna teleport to you then. Let's see this door. Here, you're gonna stand right here. Here, stand there. Oh, yo. Oh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> I can't escape. This is bad. Oh, he. He just got. He just got. He just suffocated got, me. You just got f uh, Let me actually push it properly. Look. This map is huge. Crazy. That is nice. That is cool as hell that they've managed to figure that out somehow. Well, it uses, um... This is definitely new because it uses honey blocks. I remember when these were added, it was like the biggest deal ever because then you could do whole doors like this. Oh, and wow. These wouldn't stick to each other because you got honey blocks. They don't stick to slime. Warp Vatican. Warp Vatican. Yeah, warp to the Vatican because they built the Vatican City. Was it like a one-to-one -one replica? No, it, it's it's actually unfinished. Well, I don't want to go to the Vatican City. I want to go to a castle next to the Vatican City, but we're we're in the Vatican City right now, currently under repair. Got a path here. This really is like well put out. It feels like there's like some sort of cohesive world in the server. It feels cohesive. Yeah, like they've got roads that go to everything. They've got like villages and random towns. Someone felt like thinking of the infrastructure a place like this would need. This is a cool i think it's the it's like the dream castle i'm on fucking go it. mode ah <laughs> it's just literally said my ears hurt when you say that we yeah. got this weird green oh yeah, yeah blue and yellow flag in here but look at this sign look at this sign what the f i like how you just gotta shove your face right into it it looks like you're stuck in the matrix or something you're so close to it i can see the matrix <laughs> Dude, when I see this, I'm on fucking go mode, bro. Wait, hold up. Is that Chinese text? Is that Cantonese? The, is it Hong is that, Kong? Is that the Hong Kong? Hong Kong? Yeah, is that the Hong <laughs> Kong series in like data bytes? <laughs> is that a reference? Why do these torches look off center? Do you see this? It, yeah, I do actually. I think it's because the texture is actually off center to, to give like an illusion of depth. I Now, that's, now that I noticed it, I don't like it. <laughs> what the fuck? No, wait, is it? It doesn't look like yeah, it the there. Is off oh my it's gosh, off it is. This is horrible. Yeah. I built a bunch of these on my world. It better not be like that or I'm going to delete <laughs> all of them. <laughs> this is a big church, bro. This is like a Catholic church. Absolutely. 
This is insane. It almost yeah, gets is, my like, mind off the fact this lock is off center. Why'd they do that? I like how we're far oh I almost died. One heart, no food. Oh, this will be a beautiful death. I'm jumping out the window. This is cool though. Look at this big ass castle. When do you think this was built? You think this is old or new? Um, this I feel like is newer. I mean, got, it's like, got stained, stained glass. glass. And, yeah. yeah. And like weird chest stuff. It still feels like a little bit old because of all of the brick stuff. Ooh, it's like a house here. Little guy's dude, crib. I, dude, I would. This would be a nice like, little room to live in. This will run you up around $10,000 a month in Manhattan. No windows. <laughs> this is the view right here, bro. Yeah. Look at that. Wait, we got to go to that unfinished house down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go there. There's an unfinished house. Stuff that's unfinished and abandoned is crazy. How are we going to get down, though? We have one heart. Here, right, let I'll me, run let me it. try it. <laughs> okay, TP to me. This is another one where we'll have to come back because of the amount of lore. This is just yeah. so much lore. That's what happens when you have a server for over a decade. Yeah, it gets really dense. Minecraft's the only game I know of where this is a thing, where you can have mm -hmm. some, like a active played server for 10 years, and it's just people will still play on it, or it'll still be up. And the map will, you know. It's like, it's something to do with the, the fact that Minecraft is like Legos. It's not so cool that if there's like, I don't know, like Call of Duty server that's been up for 10 years, <laughs> you know, it's, or something, you know, it's like- They don't even cool. last a year until the new game, and then they forget the old one. Yeah, so, and, but it's like, even if they did, it's like, it, it's like cool for like the nostalgia of playing that version, but nothing changes, right? Yeah. You can be on the same version, but you can warp and change the landscape in a way that's actually measurable, you know? And that I think is what separates Minecraft from a lot of games. Yeah, like this is old world terrain, obviously, mm -hmm. but that's like a newer thing. Yeah, and then we have this. There was, there's a chicken. There's a chicken down here. Look. Oh, really? Hold up. Gotta put it out of its misery, bro. You think we should? I think I think we should. Listen, bro, you're he's getting clucks tonight. A oh, holy one hit. He was ready to die. Yeah. The one thing from 2010 and then uh, we'll move on to like the coolest projects on here. No, for sure. Um, so first off, I hit TP, or I will catch shit for everybody on the server. Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, actually, I've got a kit. I'll be out. Uh, are you at spawn? I'm at spawn right now. Sick. Hello. Hello. Dude, it's the owner. Uh, mm -hmm. So have you... Oh, I can place that here. Hey, yo, we got the loot. So have you owned the server this entire lifespan like the whole time well sort of so it's uh co-owned uh with a guy named big Polly. so early on uh big Polly, we kind of passed it back and forth like he had it at his apartment for like a couple of years but it's been back and forth between us this entire time but uh right click on my avatar and uh there you go sick so oh yeah <laughs> i'm going for a ride right now i'm right where i left off when i uh oh shit did my tour on here a while ago. Sick. So we're going to jump over to... Uh, God, I still haven't learned all of the warps. <laughs> There's so many, he doesn't know which one. Yeah, no, seriously. Yeah. That's that's the problem. We're actually going to go to the old warp, so I can actually f go to the place. There's an old warp? Dude, we just went into two warp rooms. What the f***? There's like two of them. Yeah, no, welcome to the slip gate. There, there we go. We're all over the place. All right, we're in... We're... Where is this? So we just uh, we just got in the 2010 map. Oh, so. sh this looks like a 2010 build. All the fucking glass and the lava. Yep. Yo, well, this is that. some old <laughs> right here. Look at this. Yep. The door isn't properly. It's not a proper double door. It's in the. Look at it. Isn't this funny? Look at that. We gotta go save our boy. Yeah, no, I'm I'm being attacked on all- There are so many mobs on here, this is crazy, dude. They're spawning, like, in front of my face, in front of my eyes. Oh, what the f- Oh, we got a lot of shit to look at. I'm looking at a- Dude, it's like the Bass Pro Shop's pyramid, bro. <laughs> the Bass Pro Shop? That was a good joke. Yeah, the-, the ba Do you know the Bass Pro Shop pyramid? I've heard of it, I think. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. This is hella convenient. We're just riding our boy right now. Dude, so this was like so this is the 
least vanilla thing that accidentally happened in a long time. But like, if I got rid of it, the players would rebel because like mm, everybody be like, fuck. yeah, exactly. Everyone so uses it. One. Yeah, this is the lighthouse build. This is the one that like I think honestly everybody kind of considers number one in peak. Um, so this is kind of like the end of the era for alpha for us. Um, and this, I think this would have been started like end of 2010 and then finished. Oh, in 2011. Yeah. this was, yeah, this was the one that we're like, why is this so good? This was made in alpha. Yeah, this is like, this is like peak for back then. This was, this is like advanced for that time. I, I think this is beyond peak for, for alpha. This is like the obsidian fucking just usage mm -hmm. everywhere is insane. This would take us so long to make. Like it goes all the way down. Like look how far, how huge this cave is. You have to mine all of this. No efficiency pickaxes. No beacons. As someone who's who's been working on on a project like where you hollow out like a giant ass cave, this is a pain. It's taking so long. The diamonds, bro. The throne. Oh, you can actually sit? That's... Wait. I'm, at the, I'm at the foot of the throne. This is how you would sit back then. Yeah, that's true. But it's a new age. So now we now we, we yeah, ride. We, now we can actually sit on fucking blocks now. Yeah. No. Yeah, wait, how did you sit on, on this block? Oh, this is fun. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Close enough. All right, so be careful that hole right there. I think that goes down to death. Really, but uh, the <laughs> does that go in? Where is it? Is it actually that's where you throw the prisoners? Yeah, so it goes down to bedrock, and then it looks like there's a sewer system that, like, oh yeah, yeah okay, man. so it connects up to the pool. It's He's going in. Go. All right, I'm in. I'm in. Oh, there <laughs> is weird, weird. There, there, there looks like it hit deep slide. So was there at one point? That was bedrock. So this at one used point. to go to bedrock, and then it's, uh, but it got generated in with the new under stuff because there was water at the bottom. <gasps> I bet there's bedrock. I bet there's bedrock under there now. I can never say it, but uh, I think it's uh, Tepticets or te te whatever the earlier oh, builders were called. Yeah, we have actual uh, ones of those that never picked up a profession and that are still going or still running around. It's left or right, I can never remember. This is fucking huge down here, bro. Here we go. Yo, OG, oldest villagers known to man. <laughs> are these actually from 10 years ago right here? Yeah. Legit. We have a few that actually picked up trades in the server, and those traders are considered holy. Uh, so they have illegal trades, weird stuff, things like that. Um, but unfortunately, we don't have many of them because trading was crappy early on, and we didn't do mm -hmm. it much. And nowadays, like we're really regretting that because we want all the cool trades from the old ones. But these would have never even had a profession like when this was being built. Like traders didn't have professions at all. Do they have like the code to pick up a trade, or or is it not possible for them to, to activate that? I believe they could. Like if you set down a job site block, I believe they'd pick up a trade. So. Mm kind of trying to avoid that. Is this the base that uh, Big Polly like doesn't remember building? He's sort of. Yeah, so I hit him up and <laughs> I found like something way late um because I wasn't playing actively at that time, but I think you you know, you would have built this huge thing and I sent him all these screenshots. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, that kind of looks like it." And I'm like, "You don't <laughs> remember this?" He's like, "Dude, I it, there's just been a lot of stuff in the last like 10 years. It was 10 years ago." Let's go back mm -hmm. and look at some uh Kind of weird illegal stuff on the alpha side of things. Yeah, illegal. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> you you're just, you just, you're gonna. I'm in the roof. <laughs> I'm getting a good look at each block. <laughs> I'm getting a good look at your ass right now, dude. You see these blocks on the screen? These are all ten years old. <laughs> oh, here's a fun. Oh, one. that's the best right. pro oh. shops pyramid. All right, I'm taking you guys to like the tiniest little build on the server. I'm like, all right, all right, here's a full cack uh, build. This is full cack build from, from Alpha right here. 2011. It, are these the original things that were in it? Nope. I look at these cooked pork shops and they're like all oh, they're just, one by one. So don't touch stack. them. You can't touch you can't, them. They're not stacked. You can't okay. stack them. Don't stack them. I, I wouldn't eat those if I was eating. That's crazy. This is such a, this is such an Alpha build. No stairs or nothing. It's just the blocks. <laughs> yeah. Very charming. It's just like, I always was a survival build. And like, we would just get somewhere, build a stupid little house, settle, and then 
build something huge and so this was like one of the first little settlements we did before we started doing the pyramid which we're about to go to and the pyramid is cursed and admin okay. abuse this is the bass pro shops pyramid welcome to the bass pro shops pyramid or also it's known as amazing. probably the hackiest place in the server so this place does want to kill you so first off there are holes to the void oh uh, what the Oh, I thought we were. I thought we just jumped in the void, but it's all obsidian. This is crazy. This though. is all crazy, obsidian. Yeah. Yo, is this all mined legit, or did you? You said it's hacky. Did you guys dupe this or something? It was hacky in the very early days of the server. So when we started up, the survival concept didn't quite exist, and like there, because there no were no mobs, and you know the game was quite different, right? So, <laughs> um early on we allowed give and people just came on and they were effectively in creative mode so oh. that ended the moment that survival showed up everybody voted was like hey survival sounds like so much more fun and so we ended up doing that instead um but like a lot of the resources still to this day are like hidden and around and like places like here um, are completely you know illegitimate like right now we're one above uh, bedrock or what would it considered to be bedrock at the time go look down at the void and hopefully not fall this is the the base the bedrock was found at i believe this is the one right here yeah oh yeah right here yeah I'm... oh shit yep that's straight oh. void below us <laughs> obviously this was bedrock was here but they added deep slate but it's did it was it like mined out more? Deep slate Did you remine replaces it? the bedrock that was originally there when you update your world. But um if there's no bedrock, it doesn't Oh shit. Anything. So it didn't so. even load any blocks here, it was just void. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This went straight down. How did you get into that room? <laughs> uh let me in. Oh, oh there okay. we go. Hard to see. What does this do? What does the switch do? That's actually a good question. I don't know. Can <laughs> the I, whole place explodes. Can I? Go can I? I'm gonna flick, flick this, it. Okay. Oh. Yo. Yo. Old ass cool. piston door, bro. Get locked in. That is. That is cool. Oh, it's a Vlad secret lair. Vlad's, Vlad's mansion. mansion. Oh my! And it's a minecart track. I could elytra in this tunnel. Okay, it's not that long. You can literally oh. sprint to the end. Oh. <laughs> Bruh. Here's your shulker box. Yeah. Uh, I'll place it right here. Okay. Dude, these, these zombies go crazy. Oh, there we go. I had food. Yeah, you had. You also had a, a totem of undying. I got a few of them, and I just oh, died that's anyway. Hmm. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> died anyways. I feel like there was some ambitious thing all with this, but it only used one. The sad part, so so much redstone is busted from alpha because um, the uh, oh. lightstone or the glowstone blocks went from uh, so, like normal blocks to light blocks or transparent blocks. So I'd say like 90% of the redstone out here is busted, unfortunately. This Damn. still works. Look, it's like a, you can have the lights come down. Oh, sick. Wait, where? Oh, this? Yo, that is so fancy. It's so extra. But yeah, there's bedrock right here. I just realized that. Oh, wait, what the? Oh, wait, yeah. yeah, so Vlad, I have no idea how he got opt, but he was opt near the end of the alpha era. And then like, <laughs> yeah. And then this stuff like this had happened. <laughs> so. He built some, he built the drop down lights and the bedrock floor. I will say that this definitely comes off as somebody who was like, you know, like early day infatuated with the like redstone kind of idea. Like what, oh, what can I make that, that utilizes redstone? What yep. can I use to make this pipe piston do something? Exactly. So it's like nothing's like super complicated, but it's just like tiny stuff. It's like, yeah, that's just like so much more cool when it's like just come Where out. Where the you fuck? Know? There's just a hole. Where does this hole go? The void. Is that, I wonder if it actually goes down to the void. I, it probably I, does. I'm almost positive. There's, there is like a lot of that at this part of it. No, I can see it. I can see the end. All right, I'm going down. Don't go down there. <laughs> what? He actually is. This guy's insane. This is like a mini pyramid next to the big oh, pyramid. So this is actually my pyramid. 
Uh, oh. Found diamonds. You found diamonds down there? I literally found alpha diamonds. Unmined alpha diamonds? Yeah, like somebody just completely missed them. I'm going to go down there. Look at this. Unmined alpha diamonds right There's here. There's no way. What? That's That's got to be planted. Is this real? Look at that. If you imagine if missing that. This somebody 10 years ago missed that. R.I.P. Oh, this goes this back is... into the uh, bottom of the pyramid. Oh. <laughs> like break blocks from... Fucking 10 years ago. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Part of me comes, uh, wants to bring some of the uh, new players that are staple players back and actually finish this out. It's so, like we have three, yeah, three spots that were planned to build but just never got built. Oh. Yeah. That's like a lot of people are just shocked they're like man wait i can build an alpha like i can interact with stuff and it's like yeah like i don't want to like make the history inaccessible to people so it's a lot of fun to actually have stuff around sick mm -hmm. let's go see another build that's what i like about uh all of the alpha servers that aren't minecraft online you know all these old servers because all of the uh, the SMPs, if they're not Minecraft online, they let you build in the old <laughs> the old chunks. That's pretty crazy. Noviland has like a town that was settled that's like in the beta chunks, and it like they all try and emulate the style of beta or whatever. Well, even like having a modern build out there, this is a new city. That, yeah, like, yeah. You know, oh yeah, you're having fun with and yeah, Dude, like you even this see... is like modern admin abuse <laughs> see the tech t testificate spawner over here look at this this is crazy yeah. i forgot that's what people used to call villagers back then testificates this whole area is actually like october of last year uh so siege had settled out here and we were just hanging out on bc and i was like man you know what i've got some villager eggs from like 2014 and i've got some what? spawners yeah, and I've got some spawners from like 2015, right? Like, because the server used to be a little more loose, and like, so we still have some of that stuff, and that stuff is like found, and instead of like destroying it, like we collect it. And so, like, mm -hmm. we came out here, it was like, man, I wonder if we can make a villager spawner. And then, well, as you can so see. So, who, who made this blue house again? I really remember, I really like this one. Uh, this one's mine, actually. So, my yeah. calling card on the server is tiny cabins. Um, like this is it's... so well detailed. Thank you, thank you. Oh, did somebody eat one of the 10-year-old cakes on stream? Oh yeah, that, that was me last time. I ate a 10-year-old <laughs> cake and everybody was like, no! <laughs> we got Starry Night right here, just on the server. <laughs> yep, no, so a lot of these were made with a map art machine that Gem Productions made. It's kind of like mm. the Watcher design, and it's super nice because you just keep getting to reuse the carpets over and over again. And we actually didn't even have map art on the server until 2023, believe it or not. Oh yeah, all of them are dated 23. So were they spawn eggs, or was it a spawner somewhere in here? It was a spawn egg, um, and okay. then so we took a uh, villager spawn egg and then a spawner and right-clicked on the spawner with the spawner. Oh, okay, where's the spawner at? I, I want to see it with my eyes. Right in here. Okay, you Z-Man, like... you got to check this out, dude. There's an actual villager this. spawner. Oh, so if you get spawn eggs and then we, on from older versions or whatever. Oh, I remember more... doing this in Pocket Edition, I swear, there was that was a thing. You'd get a spawner and you could make it anything if you had an egg. That's crazy that, that that's still in the game code where you can do that. And like, nobody, God, I swear, somebody's got to come out here and do something with it. Like, because like, there's no trading hall, but there's this, and I like, I keep telling people. This is like, perfect for a trading hall, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, build your trading hall here, somebody, come on. You can make a, a villager grinder, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Kill I mean, it's not as funny. It doesn't even. It wouldn't drop XP. It would be. It would just. You would just hear their screams of pain, and that's it. You would just hear their ah. Soothing villager death ASMR of 24 hour. Oh, look at that. That's a that's a gravel beach. Gravel beach. Oh yeah. Yep. You get those anymore? Nope. I love gravel beaches, dude. It's so sad. Gravel beach. Just anymore. Yeah, I love this. Oh. <laughs> we got a little bit of snow forming in this place. Look, the biome change. Oh, this yeah, is I, dope. This is it's a desert, but now it's snow and there's cactus and there's snow. That's that's sick. Look, it's everywhere. The whole it's, desert. It's icing over right now. Crazy. So this is uh this is Alpha Prospect and Beta Prospect. So this is like the first major group build. Um 
then this like to me is like the quintessential alpha this would have been like october 2010 yo the brick bridge is crazy yo back no, then it, brick was like you're rich if you have brick and there's a whole brick bridge yo this is probably the first sign wall on the server right up here and barely filled out before people even put dates on stuff. <laughs> the sign ID. <laughs> this is back with the slash give. It's like, guys, make sure you slash give three, three, two, three. Exactly. Sign ID. Did they ever do Sunshine Hair 11's house? <laughs> they better. Well, I mean, this entire thing is like the uh, a group build for Sunshine and Medqueen and gosh, like a ton of other people. Do these people still uh, play on the server? Or? Med Queen does from time to time. Then we still have people show up every once in a while, like from like seven years ago or six years ago. And every time that happens, it's just like Christmas, man. The brick is insane. What the, dude, the amount of, oh my gosh, it keeps going. Hello. Hey, Welcome. Sneaky. Before, Heads up, I'm uh, giving a tour. We're filming for YouTube videos and the like. We've got like a actual famous YouTuber here, you know, like mm -hmm. Mr. Beast level. Yeah, yeah. In the car right now? Yeah, Saplo, mm -hmm. he's, um... <laughs> Saplo, he's gonna be Mr. Beast in about six months. Oh, yo, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this place, dude. Look at this. This is wild. Oh, what? This is like an... Oh, my. This is like, uh... You know those lush caves we got now? This is like the yeah. 10 year ago equivalent. This is that, but better. It feels it feels more soul. This was a lot of TNT. This one took God, I'm trying to say like six, eight months before we like really got things nailed down. But yeah, all blown out by TNT and mined out by hand. Oh, this was on uh, this was on Bedrock, huh? Oh, was it? Oh, well, all was, I see Deep Slate now, but this yeah. was Bedrock. Oh, yeah. Hello. You want to show off your? Oh. Hello. Uh, would you like to show off your map art machine, Jim? Yeah, Again? let's do that. Yeah. No, uh, I want to see yeah. that. Yeah, we're doing a tour right. for Z-Man here. <laughs> Hold on, Sap. You better be, get me out of here before be, I die. You, you'll be good. Don't worry. It's oh wait. All right, just hold your breath. <laughs> no. Ah. <laughs> we got ops. The nice part we're is ready. that when you're on top and you have a bow and you're doing the whole party bus mode, you can actually like shoot. So if somebody's got a bow and you see Bob's uh, like, like having a turret on top of you. Just I a flyby. Mm -hmm. I watched a video where someone did a fucking tournament where they did that and they had that mm -hmm. and they were just, they were just mobbing. They were mobbing. Oh, that's, uh, I, mobbing. I know what video you're talking about. That's Techno uh, Oh yeah, video. that was... He did that. Dude, yeah, look a, at this. Portal. Look at this. This is another portal. Oh, what just the? the Does this portal <laughs> actually work? Yeah. So let's zoom in. Oh. I'm yeah, going. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I've ever, like, actually... Yo! You want to this one? Uh, let's not go back through. I don't want to break it. But there's another portal right here. I don't think that will break it. Uh, it shouldn't I have break a couple it, on my own no. server. It doesn't do anything. There's probably, we'll probably end up at a different portal if we go back through, which will be fun. Well, That's there's easy. another one right here. We can go through That's this. Right. One. What is this guy? This one. Hopefully, this ends us up somewhere easy enough. Oh, oh. Actually, that was perfect. Oh, wait. Oh, Broken what the portal, too. Look at this. Wait, where? Ow, ow. Where are you guys? Z Man is just a little bit away from you guys. I yeah. went through, um, and I'm at a different portal than you guys. Yeah, he's like a thousand blocks away. If you go, so go like, he's like at 20, 20. How did that happen? Negative. Did you uh, go through the same portal as him? I'm at 21, negative 5,001. Yeah, I did. I went through the exact same portal you guys did. I was right there. Whoa. Oh, look at this. Whoa. The floating torches, because this whole base got bugged out. RIP. This was the first full cat cabin on the entire server. And like early no. on. Yo. <laughs> and like only the torches and the flowers at the front door what? exist. So the front door would have been like here. Yo, exactly. 
Just How new, does this even happen? How, why is why did everything load but your house? So Mojang early on did not care about breaking the damn game when they would upgrade versions. And so Notch would put out these half-baked versions and then re-release like a half an hour later with all these bugs fixed and blah, 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 blah. Long story short, early Minecraft hosting was a clusterfuck. And so corruption was just part of it. And you could see the chunks that are like sticking out of the ground or missing and all this sort of stuff it just happened randomly around alpha and unfortunately i was the person who got screwed the most also it's kind of rare that i uh, we kept the winter biome back in the day you started it up and it was either winter or not right and oh tundra people... you had like the tundra biome yeah yeah and so everybody that back in those days was like oh screw screw the winter biome who wants that and we actually kept it yeah um which is pretty unique for the server. It's hard to do that, like to, to, to get that seed if you don't know, like on, on, by accident, because you have to get a negative seed number. Yep, and it was like less likely to happen and it totally naturally and organically happened for us and we just decided to keep it. It's so cool though. It's a totally different vibe in like early alpha to be running around in a tundra biome, like a tundra world. Yep. Uh, like there's those, uh, those monoliths that are generated in every Minecraft world in like pre 1.0 of alpha, like any yep. version or whatever, something like that. Looks like a creeper blew up here. Oh, where okay. are you? I'm in the cobblestone fucking compound right now. I'm walking in here and this looks I'm like, walking here. this looks like Sorry. many years ago, a creeper blew up and no one fixed it. And it's just, that's, that's how it is now. There's now no, it's there's no door. How is there snow in here? There's no. There's a roof. Dude, when they were building this, they didn't clear up the snow. Yep. Oh, and it's not even snow anymore. It's rain. <laughs> That's the coolest part about those negative biomes, right? Like, all of the snow still stays there, so it still feels, like, way more cohesive, the weather, even if it, even after all the version changes, because the snow never disappears. If you're reading this, you are beautiful. Aw, how wholesome. This is a warp to hub. Don't fucking try to shove me in there. I was, yeah, I was trying to shove you in the hub war. Bro was trolling <laughs> me, bro. I would have gotten lost in the matrix. I'm on go mode. I think, uh, um, <laughs> you're on go mode. I'm on fucking go mode. Don't, you're, you're triggering my PTSD, okay? I'm on fucking go mode. Right okay, now so you guys are in the original warp. That was like the first screenshot of the server. That tower is visible. So from September. The one I'm in yeah, you right send now. It to me, yeah. Yep, I basically booted up and dug a hole down and then used that cobblestone from digging the hole down to build that tower. And So um, you built all of this right here? Yep, well, a good chunk, and then, like, other players, you know, joined up in the next week or so as I was, like, getting the server started, but yeah. Every one of these alpha worlds has a tower, I feel like. Everyone I've joined has one tower somewhere. Everyone wanted a tower. Yep. Well, it was like, you had such limited stuff to do back then, and so it was like, going to the top of the world was one of those things on the list, and then digging down to the bottom of the world was the thing, so when you were building the base, like, you were just like, you wanted to go to the top, you wanted to go to the bottom. Okay, so we didn't get to do this, and, alright, hop on, and, uh, try not to die. Let's right. not die, hopefully. I'm trying. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. shit. Cockball, motherfucker. Okay. There we go. All right, so hey. over here. Whoa, what are we standing on right now? What even is this? This is the server logo. Um, so over here in the corner, we're gonna be jumping onto the yellow one. Oh, okay. Right there. And then from it here, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and rock it over. It's kind of a pain in the ass to hit. Oh shit, I popped. Oh wow. Dude, this feels like, like some like high pixel, like hidden like parkour and the, oh my oh. God. How did we not see this? Welcome, yeah. welcome to hell. <laughs> this is crazy. How did this? How did we not tour this when I was live? Holy shit! I don't know, amazing. man. There's a lot of stuff we didn't get to. <laughs> yeah, damn, man. I got to do a part two. That's crazy. When was this built? Is this new? This was built in December. So the new warp is Cats, and like she is a prolific player and builder, and she designed this. Um, and she was like, hey, folk, I want to do the new warp. I want to do all these secrets in the warp. Or are you cool with that? And I was like, hell yeah, I am. Some of these are actually other secrets. There's more secrets There's behind secrets the paintings. Yeah, but I can't Dude. remember which one. This one? Oh, 
We're in the fucking Yo. back rooms right now. What is this shit? Oh, we got a mine yeah, cart? This is giving me like haunted oh, vibes. I'm, I'm frightened. <laughs> There's a bat in here, man. Oh, and I it looks at you bad. even if you're. Dude, did you notice that? Come back. Wait, look what? at it. Okay. It's an optical yeah. illusion. Look, if you're oh, over here, it's I'm looking at up. you. I can't look at that. If you're over here, it looks at you. This reminds me of um that scene in the original Willy Wonka where they're on the boat. Oh, they all look at you. Yeah, this is, <laughs> they all follow you. Their eyes follow oh, you. Oh, it's so nasty. Okay, this one's fun. Oh, and then we're back. The, out the same way, basically, we came in. That's pretty wild. This is crazy cool. Let's head back through and then I'll take us out to gym. This is older than my YouTube channel. Well, actually, most <laughs> of this is, fun fact. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Get gapped. Oh. oh! We're good. Okay, so... Ah, oh, sick. Okay, I'm gonna be really selfish and show this off. This is one of my favorite machines that I customized. The under here? Oh! Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, wow. It's doing something. That's... That's a machine if I've ever seen a machine. And that's why we have only one carpet duper on the entire server because they make so many entities as vanilla configured. They we're kind of like, please God, don't make carpet dupers. They're they fucking suck for the server. That for sure. Oh, I'm in it. I'm in, I'm in the duper. Oh, the FPS. Damn. I'm, I'm stuck in this thing. <laughs> Get me out of here, man. Oh, okay, I'm good. Yo, this is dope. Your inventory is just full of this. Oh, That's it is. Crazy. Oh, gosh. Here, throw it away. Who are these dudes? Are these actual dudes we know? Yeah, that's, uh, that's I think, Folk yeah. and uh, Big, Polly. Big Polly, yeah. Yo, they yep. in the game. Yep. yep. Next. Do I have to blur this out? Yeah. No, there. You, don't, you don't. Not at all. Button resets map. Uh, I, resets I got shoes. Map. I got shoes. We're gonna, well, you'll want to see whatever gonna... happens if... Oh, you know, the... you push the button. I mean, like, okay. okay, if somebody leaves a map art out without locking it and getting it, like, that's their own fault. Has it been locked? What does this do? Does this? Sure. Can I press yeah. it? Yeah, go for it. So this will basically reset it to the next map. Oh, Look at that. oh, and now it's gone. And if you press the button again, there you Yo. go. Yo. Yep. So this Hopefully is... that wasn't not done. <laughs> eh. uh, it looked complete. It looked good enough. If not, yeah. I'll catch the shit. <laughs> also, have you ever seen a working string duper? String, string no. duper. String, string duper. Yeah. Here, I'll show you. I have a little one down here. Uh, it's already set up, but basically it's tripwire with a string, trap door with water, and it needs to be on redstone single. There's a weird step you have to do. You have to hit the string with a pair of shears. But yeah, oh, there, go. there we Good go. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. actually simpler. It's really simple to do on single players. But this is a paper server, so the paper servers actually have a plugin to prevent it duping. But due to this trapdoor function, it works. So this one, I think, would have been around 2016 mm. when he added the cathedral. Ah, it blew up. There is. There's a hole right in the floor right here. Yo, so Big Polly never uses, like, Lightmatica or Schematics or anything of the sort. This is all, like... Free build. Yeah, free build. That's crazy. Very vanilla player. Like, I, I think, like, he uses Optifine, and that's about it. So oh, That's actually nuts. Major respect. Like, he, he'll build something in creative to try it out, and then, like, he'll actually sometimes just do it on, like, a spreadsheet to figure out what he needs to do. It's a spreadsheet. Like, he write down, he writes the materials oh. down. Yup, exactly. It, like, very old school. Have a lot of respect for his process. I love that the chandelier is actually lava. It's not, like, just glowstone. It's actual lava there. That's... That's cool. Big Polly like has all these calling cards and like the lava chandeliers or lava lighting features are definitely Wait. a calling card of his. Uh, I would watch out to somebody's dying. That's me. I'm in here. Yeah. What's the uh, glass pane supposed to be? Uh, a flying spaghetti monster. Oh. Oh, that's what this. That's what's on the the glass. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Come, holy sauce, creator, blessed, and yeah. 
<laughs> and our pasta goes there. <laughs> yeah. So it's all just memes about like flying spaghetti. spaghetti monsters. Oh, we're in draves. Don't walk on them. Yeah. yeah. Let's head into the actual uh, castle. Hop on. Hold I'm, over there. I'm on the top. Nice. All right. Have fun getting lost. <laughs> that's, that's every time I get into these things, I'm just like it's insane details. So this is like a ton of the players that were active on the time or active oh. at the time. Even Even more in. lava. Yeah, more lava chandelier. Those are cool. I'm gonna steal that oh. if I ever uh, build things. Big Polly's throne. So all of this, it would be 100% vanilla. Um, so this was beyond, or this is kind of like past when we had a lot of the cheaty stuff going on from the alpha stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so like every block was mined out manually, no crazy obsidian left over from when the server started up, blah, blah, blah. So that's, I don't know. I love that about this, where it's like every resource you know is legit. There's a legit. sewer, bro. I'm in the sewer right now. Oh, that's dope. Wait, if you come over here and look, it looks like an eyeball. Does it? I think that was on purpose. That feels on purpose. That looks, that's like, that's cool. No, it's crazy. It's like, I'll be playing with people and be like, oh, like, that sign is literally like, I was 10. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eight. I was eight years old. Yeah. When this yeah. was built. And that's so. why I appreciate you guys. So like, as we're wrapping up here, you know, let me kiss your ass a little bit here. And thank you for, uh, you know, stopping by. Because like, for the longest time, I just thought I'm like, nobody cares about the history. Nobody cares about these builds, about mm -hmm. this. And like for me though, it was a different thing where it's like all this creative energy has been put into this. Um, then it's just an incredible set of uh, history. So let's go ahead and head back to uh, my current base and then we'll close her out. This is my current home, uh, my storage room and all the fun stuff. This so. is like the, this is like the fucking legit massive survival sorting room with all the blocks huh? oh yeah this is all like yeah you got the bed and the floor this is like look at it it's all right here yo so this is just basically like workshop it really like, is like just <laughs> everything you need is in the floor already really yeah it's all the yeah i saw it's like every crafting thing is in the there's four anvils this is dope right here let me contribute i'll put this here there you go there you go. There's there's a piece of rotten flesh in there. Down here is my most recent invention. This is the uh, super smelter that I'm super proud of. This one runs off of blaze rods, which kind of had to build a giant blaze rod farm. So I've got blaze rods. Yep. Like the furnaces run off of blaze rods. Yep. That's like yep. a is that a thing in the base game? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that either until I until I started playing these old servers. Everyone, everybody, like runs their stuff off blaze rods. I it's didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, you can shove a blaze rod in a furnace and it'll smelt stuff. Yep. Yeah. Is it better I mean, than yeah. lava? Uh oh yeah, because you don't have to deal with any of the buckets. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. But is yeah. it burn longer than lava, or is it the same? I think it's the same. It, it might not be, but uh, it's more convenient because you don't gotta deal with buckets. Yeah, exactly. plus you can stack it. Oh yeah. yeah, I see that. So there's there's blaze rods in here. Yep. And you can I actually this is I've played this game since what? What year did I get this game? Tw I think I got this game in like twenty eleven. So I didn't know that since then. So that's crazy. Well, sick, man. I'm going to let you guys get off to other servers. I always feel bad at the end of these, uh, at the Saplo stream, because I'm, like, talking this guy's ear off, and there's so much <laughs> No, stuff. it's good. I would, good. I would stay longer, yeah, yeah. but my Saplo's the tour guide, and he's got... Yep, for sure. No, I want to yeah. make sure the other servers get some love, too. Um, but again, thank you so much for, like, coming out and doing the tour. If you guys ever mm -hmm. want to collaborate on content or look at more stuff or, like anything like that always open For last sure. minute obviously hit me up no up this is free. dope i like old internet lore so this is sick yeah we've got so mm -hmm. much of it um and it's something where it's like finally i'm starting to get the youtube love with sapro and people like yourself which is super super cool big respect bro this is some this is some i've 
definitely probably gonna have to come back and look at more stuff because we probably only got like mm -hmm. maybe half of everything 10 percent probably 10%, yeah 10 percent it's just the iceberg <laughs> it's just it keeps going yeah for sure well thanks yeah, for giving us good about the history man i appreciate that a lot mm -hmm. yeah shout out bro we'll be back probably i'll bother this sapload fellow again be like man we gotta go back <laughs>